Hey guys, and welcome back to the Randomized K-On! Pokemon Team Series. We're now wrapping up Gen 2 with our good old Sawachan. Sawako's first Pokemon will be... Ampharos. That is a very strong start. Ampharos is a highly priced Pokemon that is a big recommendation for Johto playthroughs. It is a tad slow, but its special attack, HP, and special defense more than make up for that. Its level up moveset isn't amazing, although Thunder Punch is solid. You'll definitely want to breed it though to give it Thunderbolt. Its TM list isn't great, although, again, Rain Dance plus Thunder is good. And having Fire Punch for Grass types isn't a bad thing. So this is a nice way to start off this team. It's really strong, it's moderately bulky, and it'll cause some damage. Definitely pick up this Pokemon if you can. Savako's second Pokemon will be... Donphan. That's also pretty good. Donphan may not be as powerful as Rhydon, but it's still a stellar ground type. 120 physical attack and defense and 90 HP. Those are respectable numbers. Its level up move list isn't that great, especially since it doesn't get a stab move until level 49, which unless you're doing a Donphan only run is a long way away. There's little to talk about with TMs, although I guess you'll get Earthquake in the Victory Road and have it for the Elite Four and post game. Honestly, while Donphan is super strong, the lack of ground moves until the late and post game in Gen 2 really lets it down. If it had access to Dig, that would definitely help, and I'm going to assume it gets that TM in later generations. If it doesn't though, let me know. Salvaco's third Pokemon will be... Ledian. And now we drop to near the bottom of the pecking order. Ledian is a very bad Pokemon, especially if you compare it to Ariados. Its stats for the most part are miserable, the only good ones being Special Defense and Speed, so I guess special fire and electric moves won't kill it as easily, and it's kind of fast? Its level up move list is pretty bad, and the few physical attacks it gets will at most tickle since its physical attack is pathetic. And there are no stab moves in sight. For TMs, it gets some really good moves, but I'm pretty sure they won't do too much since it doesn't really have the power to make use of them. So this is a substantial drop in quality for Savako's team. I think you'd have to be some kind of tactical genius to make Ledian do anything in battle. Savako's fourth Pokemon will be... Shuckle. That's certainly an interesting one. If you ever wanted to mount a heavy defense, Shuckle is probably one of the better options. Its defenses are absolutely insane, which is really the only thing it's good at in Gen 2 since entry hazards didn't exist yet. Its level up move list kinda exemplifies that this Pokemon is not meant to be used as an attacker. The only really decent move it learns naturally is Rest. For TMs, it does get some strong ground moves and Sludge Bomb, but its non-existent attack stats will hinder them. So this is very much a stall and wall Pokemon. Give it Rest, Toxic, and then whatever else you think would be useful for it. If you wanted to try using some attacking moves, by all means go ahead. But I think most will agree that Shuckle should not be used that way, at least in early gems. Sawako's fifth Pokemon will be... Hitmonlee. That's a definite step in the right direction. Hitmonlee obviously gets better in Gen 3 onwards since it gets Brick Break, but even in Gens 1 and 2, it is a force to be reckoned with. That's 120 attack stats will knock you down if you're not careful. And it's reasonably fast to boot. For level up moves, it learns some super strong attacks. Plus, it gets Mind Reader to help with accuracy. So as long as it can survive an attack, it'll hit stupid hard. For TMs, however, there's not really anything to talk about. So this is a fine Pokemon for a team, even though it's kinda limited since it focuses on kicking. But that does not take away from how good it is. And Salako's last Pokemon will be... Slowking. That's an interesting one. I'm not sure about Slowking's competitive viability, specifically the non-Galarian version, but based on its info, it doesn't look all that bad. It's slow as molasses, not surprising given that slow is in its name, but everything else looks really good. It gets some fairly decent moves by level up, but nothing to really write home about. Psychic is the best move, but that comes late. 
TMYs though, it actually has a nice selection. There's a lot to pick from here, so you can shape a slow king pretty much however you want. So I would not call this a bad ending to this team. It'll be outsped by most Pokemon, but it does look to have the stats to put up a real fight. So still tread carefully with slow king. And that's it for Savako's Gen 2 team. It looks pretty good for the most part. With the possible exception of Ledian, I think she'd do well with them if she took things seriously. As always, please rate, comment and subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, feel free to come join me on Discord, consider backing me on Patreon, and remember to stay chilled.